back to Journey to Peace with me. Let me be the first to admit that I am not the most domestic. I clean because I have to, because I like a clean home, but it's not something that I like to do. Unless I'm just in the mood to do it, um, it's a chore for me. Okay, so this video is gonna be real quick, real simple. Um, it's just a tip on how you get a handle on laundry. So if you're anything like me, I'm a busy mom. I have three little people to take care of. With them comes a lot of clothes and a lot of laundry. So it's me, my three children, and my husband. And so laundry is at the top of the list of chores I hate to do, or at least I used to. And the reason why I used to hate doing laundry is because I let it pile up and pile up and pile up. And truthfully, like I had enough underwear to last me a month, so I didn't really need to wash that often. And sometimes I went three weeks without washing clothes, and by the time I got around to washing them, wash day was just a total nightmare. Like washing the clothes isn't a problem, right? The problem comes when you have to fold all of those clothes and put them away. You're just ready to just throw all of them away and just start all over. So after watching a couple YouTube videos and reading some blogs on how people manage their laundry i came across this one post from at home with nick it was a video that she did and that helped me out tremendously i have been following this tip for about a month now and i've gotten a handle on my laundry laundry isn't um at the top of the list anymore i still hate to do it but doing this tip makes laundry so much more bearable okay now this also means that my laundry room is staying clean there isn't a room where I have to say, don't go in there. There's a pile of clothes that is waiting. We don't have that chair in the corner of the room. You know the one. The one where you just throw all the clothes from the laundry that you didn't feel like folding. Clean clothes in a chair that you just uh, rumble through when you're ready to find something. We don't have that chair anymore. Why? So are you ready for me? It's real simple. Not rocket science at all. Um, unfortunately, it took me a very long time to find this tip. But once I got it, I got it, okay? Um, here's a tip. Do one load every day, okay? And so there are five people in my home. Um, what I did was I set up a laundry day for each person. There's seven days in a week. I said one day I'm not going to do laundry at all. And then one day is dedicated to towels and sheets, okay? So how I did it was Monday is my wash day. So Monday morning, um, after I finish my workout, I throw all of my clothes into the washing machine. I start the load. When I come back home, um, I dry them. And about an hour later, somewhere in the middle of dinner, getting uh, almost ready, I'll take them out, I'll fold them, put them away. Because I'm only doing one week's worth of laundry, um, folding the clothes only takes about 15, maybe 20 minutes at the most to fold and put away. So Monday is my day, um, Tuesday is my son's day, Wednesday is baby girl's day, um, Thursday is for my husband, Friday is for my oldest daughter, Saturday I rest, and then Sunday I do towels and sheets. So I strip the sheets from everyone's bed and then I replace them while the other set is washing and then I put those away when I'm finished. This tip has saved me so much time, so much energy, so much you know strain and stress of laundry day. Um, laundry day is now much more manageable because everybody is only washing one week's worth of clothes. Um, it also means that I can probably purge a little bit more because washing is happening more frequently. So we don't need a month's worth of underwear anymore because I'm washing clothes uh, more frequently. Until the next time, journey on. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.